Right, so <laughs> me and James are just saying um, A, there's heated seats in the car, we don't want to get out. <laughs> and B, we're both really tired. Um, right, 44 days out from my first ever show. Very much a student. We've been, James behind the camera and I have been working together for a while now. We want to start documenting more of Away From Hard To Kill documentary which has a much bigger message this is more around my approach to training the way I apply myself and how I've done it from my background of 10 years of professional rugby and how I keep my body able because <laughs> I've got a multitude of chronic injuries I'll just reel them out like two ACL recons so five knee ups in total three osteoscopies I've had a toe left toe tendinopathy and Achilles issue of rupture my left hamstring off the bone approximately uh, shin spins, torn labour in my left shoulder, missing teeth, which are getting fixed soon. Uh, concussions, so yeah, like it's the nature of the sport, uh, but I've always loved bodybuilding and now coming into this, like I say, as a student, it's about how you apply. I want to be a one percenter, how I'm going to attack that. Um, and then away from that, just documenting how hard it is in prep, because Make no mistakes, I've been disciplined in my life before, but I've never felt like depletion like this at times. So my respect for the professional IFBB pro like bodybuilders and guys who are aspiring amateurs like myself who want to become a professional, like unbelievable amount of respect for it. So as you can see, I'm a bit tired today. I'm doing a pool session, I'm gonna take you through show you everything, do a bit of posing at the end. Let's get it. Working with uh, my, this is what I define him as, fucking magician, Radu, right? He is a physiotherapist, one of the most educated blokes that like, I've ever, ever worked with. And obviously come from a professional sports background. We, we were accustomed to very, very good level of like prehabilitation or rehabilitation from injuries. So to keep my body together, especially with my shoulders, because they're damaged from tackling people. Radio gave me like specific warm-ups. We did like some uh, blended therapy, like loads of stuff that he does with me, which you'll probably see on this vlog. Uh, but essentially warming up my rhomboids, so rather than getting my traps to overwork, trying to pull my shoulders back and down into the back pockets and then pulling them around to engage my rhomboids, that area of the back underneath the traps in the mid back, which allows me to set myself properly. And then you'll see me go through a core warm up, like actually properly activate my core ready for the posterior chain. So we're gonna be putting a lot of pressure on that lever of my lower back while we train pull. Um, and it's just so important, there's so many guys come to the gym who literally don't warm up. And I think that is idiocy, because long term, it's just gonna fuck you. Recording your weights as well. Like, being able to document your progressive overload is so important. I never used to do it, but it doesn't take it more seriously now. It's a complete necessity. Especially for my coach, Lewis, as well. He wants to see how I'm progressing the exercises. Take another thing I'll say at the end as well. One second, Albert. I learned how hard I was going like that leg session. The swelling in my legs. I was yeah. there for like five days, I had no condition. It was like, no condition, I, say, I think I've literally put my body under too much stress. Like I pushed past the level I shouldn't have. So that level of training in the second episode of Hard Skill, was that more than usual then? Is what? Is that more than usual? More than that. Yeah. I've been pushing like that for about four weeks. I won't be doing that anymore. Not when I'm so tired. Yeah. So stressed. Now, really, you've got to train to failure. Like, you have to train to failure. But there's a level, like, my kind of mind can I can push to a level a bit more disregard for your body. But now I'm so lean, and your conditions, if you put stress on your body too much, I think I can, you could react the wrong way. Yeah. You could get water retention or, so it's a, it's a fine balance between growing into the show while you're trying to get conditioned down lean and like keeping your body happy like 
the compound lift so with this it's RDL today on the pool session Lewis my coach and I and Lewis has been educating quite a lot on different ways you can stimulate the muscle rather than having to just push heavier weight all the time so we did one set of 180 and did nine reps just slow methodical movement through the second one we've dropped down to 140 now we're going to pause at the bottom to get that that extra stimulus stretch at the at the kind of extremity of the movement so little things like that and another thing i'll show you when it comes to the single arm that pull downs and rows i'm using these grips again lewis has came up with it allows your wrist to move freely it's like little things like that just to get a better connection in the muscle that you're training especially when it comes to your back it's one of the hardest body parts to train that i'm learning it's very difficult to train that so you've got to find ways that you can really get the engagement
Right, uh, so session, session done, finished up, uh, did some posing in the end. Obviously, I spoke quite a lot about this online recently, how it, your, your application of training obviously needs to be 100% and that training to failure. But learning how to bodybuild, you have to put as much time into mastering how to pose, which has been a very steep learning curve for me. Um, so I pose before and after every session. Um, that's pull finished up. Uh, food has been reduced, hit a new low weight. Uh, and today, 44 days out, it's 100.7. Um, so I'm just clarifying my coach what my weight is and my height category for Class C. I need to get myself accurately measured. So last time I did it, I was just over 5'11". So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully all the rugby and, and weight exchange doesn't batter me too much that I'm under it now, which would be quite dramatic in terms of the weight I'd need to make. Uh, but it's good we're coming down. Condition seems to be coming into the uh, lower back and hamstrings now. I'm just making sure I'm prioritising my sleep practice, practice, practice the posing, and a different application towards, uh, we were discussing in a session, how not training within yourself, but not go, my ability to be able to push further than what my physical physical body can with my mindset. It's how I approach rugby, it's probably why I got injured all the time. Uh, now I'm getting closer to the show, I think I need to be more careful about how hard I push in terms of the water retention kind of cause on and stress in the body. Uh, we've recently changed a few things in the cycle as well with the anabolic steroids. And one in particular does fire up the central nervous system so I'm waking up at like god awful hours in the morning but it's a necessary evil of making sure we're growing into the show looking full and being as slice as possible. And that's it, so 44 more days. I'll check up with you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed the vlog.